hello guys welcome back to good shower tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix uncharted the legacy of thieves collection error on windows 10 version 1903 or higher is required when you're trying to launch the game on your steam and you're having a lot of trouble and how you can successfully fix this up right now as you can see we have uploaded recent videos on uh, uncharted you can also check that right so uh, without wasting time let me directly uh, navigate to the issue and let me talk about the solution the first thing what you have to do is when you're having this error when you're trying to launch the game the first thing what you have to do is you just have to do a restart on your pc that is what you have to do the restart can be done from here itself in the start you just have to click on the start go for over here and do a restart if you're on pc you have to do restart if you're on laptop you have to do restart because sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue next step what you have to try out is all about you have to uncheck the compatibility in steam exe file for that what you have to do is you just have to go in two way either you can go over here and search for steam like this we can search like this and you can go for open file location now this is the steam so i have to right click and i have to navigate to properties now i just have to click over here on the compatibility option now from here as you can see what I have to do is I just have to make sure over here the compatibility mode so if it is ticked like this sometimes in some case this will be ticked so if it is ticked I have to uncheck it I have to go for apply and go for okay and if it is uh, not ticked then you just have to keep the same you have to try with this so if it is ticked or if it is uh, checked then you just have to uncheck it and go for apply and go for okay then just go back to the steam app and try to launch the game that might be working out if it's not working let's move to the next one next one is all about you have to uh, i mean you have to restart the game in the compatibility mode so if we ask you that question what do you have to do is you just have to go over here in the steam okay so i'll go over here in the library so here are the games which we have already trying to play or i'm already playing not regularly i don't play much games on steam because i variously often depends on uh, steam epic games xbox and even ps5 I, I play in all these things I mostly spend time on PS5 so uh, over here as you can see so right now here I am not having the uncharted game because I haven't downloaded it yet on Steam but it is available for me on Epic Games but uh, here I'll show you what to do the thing is over here you will be finding uncharted game okay uncharted the game will be here so you just have to select the uncharted game and you just have to go over here in the properties go to the local files go to the browse when you go to the browse, what happens is this will take you to the folder where the game is installed. As you can see, this is installed on this PC, local disk C, program file, Steam, Steam apps, common, Forza Horizon 5. So here, in your case, it will be uncharted. Okay. So you just have to right click on the application file, which is uh, the main installation for folder. You just have to go over in the show more options, navigate to properties. Now from here, you just have to check whether you are able to get any options like you can change it. It most probably not there. But in some cases, you will be able to get a pro, uh, an option to add the compatibility so you can change it from there. Or else what you can do is you can uh, run the Steam, Steam folder, uh, Steam itself as you can, as I done earlier, you have to right click on the Steam, you just have to go to the where the installation folder. Now you just have to right click and navigate to properties and go to the compatibility. And I already told you sometimes it most probably this will be, un this will be checked, that way this will be like this. So if it is not like this, you have to do the compatibility mode. You have to try the Steam in the compatibility mode and you have to launch the game. For that, you just have to check it. Okay, once you check it, it will be in default by Windows 11, Windows 8. As you can see, there are many options. It will be in the Windows 8. Go for apply, go for okay and try to launch the game. If it's not working, just change this Windows 8 to uh, any other like Windows 7. Then go for apply, go for okay, try to launch the game if it's not working. So keep on changing unless it is working on various Windows uh, available mode. And even after trying all these things, if it's not working, the best the way is you just have to keep it same to the Windows 8, which is default and uncheck it and go for apply and go for okay. Then try to launch the game. This might work for some users. This helped and that worked for them. Now let's move to the sec next one. Next one is all about you have to update the Windows using update assistant or media creation tool it depends so over here as you can see if i go to the uh, settings let me go to the settings 
if I go to settings and if I navigate to Windows Update, I just wanted to make sure that I am the latest version. As you can see, it is not in the latest version. I am having trouble, a lot of trouble and I am getting only KB versions of downloading and patch like to update on my PC and laptop. So here, in order to fix this, we need a tool, right? For the, these are this one, that is Windows 10 2022 update version where I can update it. So right now I have to click on update. So what happens is an exe file get downloaded. Okay, so I have to open this, then I have to go for run. When I go for run, update assistantly only work on Windows 10 device. Okay, fine. That is fine. Simultaneously, if you go down, create Windows 10 installation media, you can go for here also. And also, as you can see, Windows 11 installation assistant is there, so I have to download it. Right now, if once I download it, I just have to open it and go for run. So uh, it is already running, so there is no issue with that. And also you are having the media installation, which you can also download from here. So, so you have to do download the both the EXE and you have to run. If you're on 10, just go for Windows 10. And if you're on the 11, just go for uh, 11 and download and run the .exe. And most probably after that, you will be getting an option to update your Windows. From here, after the installing the .exe, just update it right after updating the most probably the issue will be completely fixed i mean after updating the windows is updated to latest version then the most probably the problem regarding this has to be fixed and let's move to the next step next step is all about you have to run the game as administrator that is quite simple right we all know that how to run the game as an administrator even though i have to show it right now for that as i said earlier you just have to go to your uncharted game just go over here in the properties and because we just wanted to find where the game is installed if you already knew the location you don't have to do this just click on the browse option so that you will be getting a folder like this just uh, go over here and just go for more options so go to properties and you have to check whether you are able to get it or not some case it will be so okay so just click over here now right click there is an option run the run it as administrator so when you click on run as administrator the game will be launched but it will be it will be running as an administrator so most probably the problem might be solving out right so moving to the next one is all about you have to verify the integrity of game file so we all knew that games get really updated all the time and sometimes hence they are on the steam they might be getting some bugs and some issues so they all get fixed when we do the verify integrity of game file so here over here in the steam you just have to open like this and navigate over here in the left side to a respective game and in your case it will be uncharted so you just have to click on the properties just go over here in the local files and go for verify integrity of game file so it's going to take a little bit of time so what happens is all the corrupted files if the game is having any corrupted file they will be fixed up by default and you will not be having any kind of issue that is all good to go and this is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about you have to restart the steam and install if any updates are there for example right now i'm on the steam i just have to close it and i have to reopen it back i mean you have to open it once again and see whether you are able to fix the issue and also if you're having any kind of updates you can check for updates on the steam and check for steam client update just go for updates simultaneously if you're having an update for the game you can update that also from your side and that is also fine okay so this is what you have to do you just have to try both the things and that might be working out so even after trying this if it's still not working the next is we are having two options you have to update the graphics card on your pc or laptop manually for that i'll be giving both the link in the description for nvidia users as well as for the amd users from here what you have to do is you just have to download it and you have to go for start search give all the uh, corrupted uh, i mean all the instructions and from here you have to download the respective file and install it simultaneously if you're on the amd you just have to select the respective one if you're on the amd you just select the respective models and all those things just download it and try to install it and most probably the issue will be completely fixed and that is what you have to do and moving to the next one is all about what you have to do is you just have to uh, do is you just have to uninstall the game and reinstall it back because I don't know how, how great it is, but for some users, as I have seen in the Reddit as well as in the Steam forum, it all worked for them. So that's why I'm suggesting, guys, you can try out by uninstalling and reinstalling in back. And that might be working, guys, you out. So these are the possible workarounds which you have to try out. When you're having this error on your Windows, uh, on Uncharted, the Legacy of Thieves collection, when you're trying to play and how you can fix this app, so this is what you have to do and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye. Bye bye.